Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 19th, the full moon. So, this is for whoever. All right, we don't know what's going to come up. This reading may or may not be for you. Whatever comes up, comes up. I'm going to get one of these, and I'm going to get one of these, and then I'm going to use this deck, and then I'm going to use this deck, and whatever comes up, comes up. Let's see, what are we going to use first? This one, I suppose. What do we got for this full moon? Ooh, it's a good one. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Yeah, that's a good card, isn't it? It really is. It's, it's, I mean, universe is in control. I mean, yeah, you're in control too, but there's no need to try to control. Surrender. Surrender to what is. When you try to control, it just gets harder. No, it does. It's harder and harder and harder and harder. Just surrender. See all the angel protection? You're being protected. Trust. Believe. Life purpose. The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose, and then your purpose will serve you. So that's it really falls right in line. It's not about, you don't need to know. Just do the best that you can do. Be a good person. You know, just surrender and, and let it be and everything else will fall into place. All right, so what do we got? What do we have? Dear tarot cards, what do we got for today? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe... Ooh, wonderful. You know, it looks as though something is crumbling down. It is, it is. There's somebody that is breaking free from something that was false, something that was unstable. It's like the obstacle is being removed. An obstacle is being removed that has been holding you back, and you may not like it. It may be seem like things are out of control, and you just got to go with it. It's nothing you can do about it, right? I mean, there's an obstacle that is in the way that has been keeping you trapped, and it's about to, you know, it needs to it needs to be removed. It needs to be, you know, taken out. So, in order for it to be taken out, the universe has to step in. So, it looks to me like there's going to be some sort of fated change that is happening because somebody is needing to remove themselves from a situation that's keeping them stuck whatever that is absolutely somebody has been holding on this is unrealistic somebody has been holding on to an unrealistic dissatisfying situation where they were emotionally discontent they weren't getting the wish fulfillment or the emotional fulfillment that they needed not realizing that they have a better opportunity Hanging on to a false foundation that was keep, keeping them tra trapped and bringing down their energy. It was like it was stealing their energy, stealing their mojo, you know, really uh, making them feel like they couldn't go on, you know. I really feel like somebody needs to find that inner strength and that courage to just surrender is big here I keep hearing surrender 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 stop investing your time and energy in a situation that has no more growth ok 
okay? Somebody has been really focused on an emotional loss. Maybe somebody um, needs to realize that's what done what's done is done what has happened has happened you can't you can't you can't fix that now it's already the blood has already been spilled, okay? The wine, whatever, you can call that blood, that red stuff, you can call it wine, you can call it whatever you want. It's already been spilled. It's already it's already gone. It's already it's over. You can't you can't pick it back up. You can't you can't you can't. So, there is another opportunity, but somebody is just so focused on the loss that they can't see that there is there's a better opportunity if they could just look in a different direction. I think there's a lot of regrets here. There's a lot of guilt. There's a lot of sadness. There's just a lot of, of emotional difficulty in letting go, in surrendering, in, in accepting whatever this false situation was. You know? You can't, it's out of your control now, okay? Everything does happen for a reason. It's out of control. It happened because there is another opportunity, okay? I feel like somebody... is letting their own negative thinking, their own... Um, lack of vision, you know what I mean? They're not putting in effort to think positive. They're not, their own perception, their own, their own thoughts. And even though this isn't the Queen of Swords, it's the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Wands in reverse is kind of a no offense to you, Queen of Wands in reverse, but is a, this is for anybody, any sign. This energy is an energy of poor, poor, pitiful me. That's what this energy is. So we got somebody here that is living in their own pity when all they have to do is realize that they have a better opportunity. You know, you're not a victim here. You're not a victim here. You have the strength. You have the courage inside of you. You just have to find the willpower to surrender and let be what is. Let it, let it be. So I feel like we have somebody here that is really focused on what has happened when they have an opportunity to just stop focusing on it. You know, stop focusing on it. Fives are about change. You have the opportunity to change your direction at any time, as does anybody else. So I feel like somebody has wasted a good amount of time and energy trying to make something grow that was unrealistic. Trying to perhaps manifest something that was unrealistic. Something that was false. you got to always see what's mirroring. This is a false foundation. It really, really is. And somebody invested a lot of time and energy and money perhaps into a situation that really brought them down i'm sorry it is what it is um and now somebody has to find that force within them to to just remove this obstacle which is a thought that's why the thought you gotta always remember i said what's mirroring each other there's the thoughts Okay, the negative thoughts, okay, it's a, it is, it's the negative thoughts to, you know, maybe you've been trying to protect yourself by holding on to this, 
devastating loss, whatever it was that devastated you. Maybe you've been trying to protect yourself subconsciously by still holding on to it because that's what people do down in their subconscious. They're so much in pain that they they hold on to, to, the, to the pain to protect themselves from experiencing it again. It's, it's hard to explain, but anyway. There is an obstacle that is being removed. Somebody has been lying to themselves about a false situation, okay? There's regrets, there's guilt, there's sadness, there's loss, there's grieving. There's another opportunity waiting for them to just, you know, turn around and go in another direction. But they're missing an opportunity because they're trying to manifest the wrong thing. They have another opportunity for love. They do. They know that they do. But they're going to have to focus on the future and not the past. So I feel like today is a day um, of really taking back control. Taking back control of your own emotions. You know? Taking back control of your emotions. And letting go of the need to control what is meant to be. You know what I mean? So yeah, you got to master your emotions and let go of the need to control what the universe has in store for you. Try to control what isn't meant to be. You know what I mean? If it isn't meant to be, it isn't meant to be. That's what I'm saying. Accept it. It's acceptance, okay? I feel like somebody has been really um, overanalyzing the causes of this emotional loss, of this whatever it is, this relationship loss, whatever it is. There's been a lot of over overanalyzing. There's been a lot of brooding. There's probably been other another opportunity or other opportunities that have been presented, and, another, and this person has ignored them all because they they think that they can you know, fix something that broke down when there's really no fixing it. It's already lost. And now perhaps somebody is like, you know what, it's time for me to open my heart again. You know, it's time for me to open my heart again. It's time for me to take a more playful approach and follow my dreams. So maybe it is time for me to, you know, stand in my power and let go of this unrealistic situation and get prepared for the arrival that is best for me. So I really feel like somebody's um, needs to take this time to surrender, open their heart, take a new approach, stop lying to themselves about a false foundation that is already broke down. It's not stable. It's unreal. It's caused them too much sadness and discontent already, and it's held them back from success. And now I feel like somebody is starting to see that it's time for me to, you know, go find love again, you know, so start over in love. That's what it looks like to me. So I feel like we have somebody here that is really deciding that it's it's time for me to put on my... I was going to say uh, grow up. I was going to say my big boy panties. Are, well, big boys don't wear panties, do they? Or some do. But anyway, um, whatever. It's time to grow up. We're just going to leave it at that. Um, and I don't care if you do. I really don't. I have no judgment here. Um, anyhow, um, it's time to get prepared. Okay, this is get prepared because what you are meant to have arrive is going to arrive. Okay, it's going to arrive. So this is a time of letting go of control and patiently waiting. It's a waiting game. It's a time of release. It's releasing this pain, releasing this loss, surrendering to the universe. I mean, this is a universe card. Surrendering, you know. And, 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 and starting over in love. I think it's a very emotional time. I think it's a very emotional full moon. Um, I feel like you got some good news that is going to come out of this. It could be unexpected. Some unexpected news that comes about. Um, but it, whatever is happening is going to bring you to a better place. If something is, is going to 
arrive that you you know probably you've been waiting for for quite some time but it's not what you manif it's not what it's not the lie that you have held on to okay somebody has been holding on to a lie a false foundation they have they have and it's like it's time to let go it's time to let go of this situation it is it was it's false it's not it's not stable it's not secure so Anyway, I think there's probably a new opportunity right around the bend, okay? Because you notice, it's like the ship really isn't, the big ship isn't really here yet. It's right around the bend. You're, whatever, whatever you're calling in is right around the bend, but you can't go against the universal plan. And there's a lot of people that watch these readings that try to go against the universal plan. You know how I know? I know by the comments down below. You know, I know by the comments, people, oh, he's leaving his narcissist. He's the, no, that's an illusion. That's what you want to happen. Somebody has been holding on to an unrealistic false foundation that is a lie. Not realizing that they have another opportunity, focused on a loss when they should be opening their heart in another direction. It's time to step outside of your victim mentality and focus on the future, not the past. Let go of these control issues. Everything happens for a reason. And that's what today is about. It's about surrendering to what is. Accepting. Accepting the truth. Stepping outside of your illusions. Facing reality. about taking back your control your own control it's about taking the lead in your own life it's about being the boss of yourself I'm gonna I'm gonna own up to who I am I'm taking back control of my life It's making that solid decision very, this is a very decisive individual. I'm making the decision to focus on my future and not the past. Somebody has gained a lot of wisdom through suffering. desert passage trust there is a divine plan there is a divine plan even if it seems that life has areas of barrenness beneath the surface life is transforming in accordance with your highest good. Trust that you are guided even if it doesn't seem like it. There are spiritual guides, allies, and angels surrounding you. I said at the very beginning you are protected. Do you remember me telling you that? My angels, I knew it. There are spirit guides, allies, and angels surrounding you. Listen with your heart. Act on your instincts. Believe that the messages you are being given are in your highest good. The desert path can seem like a vast wasteland, yet it is in the isolation that immense insights and intuition can emerge. In times of old, sages and visionaries retreated into the desert to connect more deeply with spirit. If in the past you trusted your instincts and then later it seemed to be a mistake, 
Don't let that keep you from trusting your intuition now. Often those things that we thought were mistakes in the past, in hindsight, were the best things possible for us. It was a blessing in disguise that whatever this was didn't work out. It's time to accept it. No more illusions. Often those things that we thought were mistakes in the past, in hindsight, were the best things possible for us. As you open to your intuition, you will sense messages from in the loving presence of your spirit guides and ancestors. There is a potent plan in your life for your life. Trust. Surrender. You got to be optimistic here. Good luck.